math time. Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about determining the values of expressions involving trigonometric ratios of special angles. Determining the values of expressions involving the trigonometric ratios of special angles. Determining the values of expressions involving trigonometric ratios of special angles. So going back to trigonometric ratios, we have six. We have sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second, and cotangent. All right. Now, as we uh, determine or evaluate the values of expression, we need this trigonometric table or trigonometric ratios of the angles. Just like when you are going to combine sine 30 degrees with cosecant 30 degrees. So that is one half plus two. All right, so using the table of values in this activity, let us try to consider this problem. Okay, let's start with number one problem. Determine the exact value of the expression uh, second 30 degrees plus cotangent 60 degrees. So right here, to identify the value of sine uh, second 30 degrees, we'll just go into our table of values. So what is si uh, second 30 degrees? So second 30 degrees, we have here the function and we have 30. So that is 2 square root of 3 over 3. And we do also have here cotangent 60. So cotangent 60 that is here. Okay. So cotangent 60 is square root of 3 over 3. So once again, to solve, we have in our table of values, our second 30 is equal to 2 square root of 3 over 3. So this one. Plus, okay, so cotangent 60. So that is square root of 3 over 3. So since we are asked to find the exact value of this, so take a look with the operation that is being used, that is addition. So we'll just simply combine the fractions since our denominator here are just, just the same. So we have therefore, uh, that is over 3. All right. So... So that is 2 square root of 3 plus, you have here is square root of 3. By simply looking at it, we can combine them together since they have the same radicand. So since that is 1, we have 2 here. So 2 plus 1, therefore you have 3 square root of 3, just copy, over 3. Now, are we going to stop it there? No, since we can still simplify 3 square root of 3 over 3 or 3 divided by 3. What is left here is only square root of 3. So meaning to say, when you are asked to find the exact value of second 30 plus cotangent 60 degrees, that is just equal to square root of 3. Moving on to problem number two. Evaluate sine square 30 degrees plus cosine square 45 degrees. So once again, we have here sine 30 degrees. What is sine 30 degrees? That is equal to one half. So let's have it here. One half. Okay, that's square plus. What is cosine square 45? So what is cosine 45? cosine 45 so we have square root of 2 over 2 then square okay let's now simplify what is one half square that is equivalent of 1 over 4 is that clear now what about square root of 2 over 2 square so again as you square that becomes okay the operation is plus <clears throat> that is square root of 2 squared, that is 2. Then for the denominator, 2 squared, that is 
4. As you can see, they are now on the same denominator. So we'll just simply combine together what is in the numerator. So what is 1 plus 2? So that would give us 3 over 4. So meaning to say, when we are asked to evaluate sine square 30 degrees plus cosine square 45 degrees, that is just equal to 3 fourth. Okay? Now, let's proceed to problem number 3. Okay. So we have here, find the exact value of the following. So let's start with letter A. Second square 45 degrees plus tangent 45 degrees. So let's solve for A. Again, so we have second square 45 degrees plus tangent 45 degrees. Okay, going back to our table. So what is the value of second 45? So second 45. So that is square root of 2. So that is equal to square root of 2. Then take note, it's a square. Alright. So plus tangent 45. What is tangent 45? So look into this one. Then 45 that is equal to 1. It's very easy. So what is square uh, square root of 2 square? So that is equivalent of 2. Then plus 1. So what is 2 plus 1? Very easy. That is equal to 3. So meaning to say, as we are going to find the exact value of this second square 45 degrees plus tangent 45 degrees, that is just equal to 3. Now, moving on to problem letter B. Okay, second square, let us copy once again. Second, 30 degrees, not a square. Times cosine 30 degrees minus tangent 60 degrees times cotangent 60 degrees. Okay, so let us identify first the value of second 30. So where is second 30? Second, then 30. So this one. 2 square root of 3 over 3. Is that clear? Times. Okay, cosine 30. So for cosine 30, that is square root of 3 over 2. Clear? Next, minus. What is tangent 60? So tangent 60. So that's here, square root of 3. So square root of 3 times cotangent 60. So cotangent 60. So it's here. That is square root of 3 over 3. Square root of 3 over 3. Alright, so we are now going to simplify. Okay, so as we simplify, uh, let us have first multiply 2 square root of 3 times square root of 3. Or simply, you have to multiply the numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Same thing here. Okay, so 2 square root of 3 times square root of 3, that will give us... Uh, we have 2, what is square root uh, 3 times 3? That's 9. So what is square root of 9? That will definitely give us 3. Okay, over. So 3 times 2, that is 6. Okay, so again, 2 times 1. So that's 2. Then, Radican to radican, we have 3 times 3, that is 9. What is square root of 9? That will give us 3. Okay, now moving on to this part. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that's 9. Square root of 9. What is square root of 9? That is 3. So minus 3 over, take note this is over 1. So 1 times 3, that will give us 3. Is that clear? So, simplify. Actually, from here, we can already simplify. Okay, so what is 2 times 3? That is 6. 
Okay, so 6 over 6 minus, what is 3 divided by 3? I will just write it here, 3 over 3. What is 6 divided by 6? That's 1. Okay, what is 3 divided by 3? Very easy, that's 1. So what is 1 minus 1? That is equal to 0. So as you can see, it's too long, but then as we find the exact value of this, it's just only 0. So once again, second 30 times cosine 30 minus tangent 60 times cotangent 60, it's just equal to 0. Alright? So is, is everything clear? Okay, so we have here, once again... There you go. And for this one, okay.